hello right i don't know how how well this is going to go um i still haven't found my tripod and um, my husband is watching football in the next room so he's either going to be getting cross or he's going to be like cheering so if you hear that um i thought it'd be really nice to play some christmas music because it's um it's uh, the last day of november it's obviously the 1st of December tomorrow that oh, I'll play some Christmas music but then uh, I realised that um, they might put a stop to it um, YouTube, I've had that problem before when I've like um, I've been ice skating and there's been background music I don't know which way, way I'm meant to be looking I think the camera's here where the, yeah, there's background music and um, and they, yeah, and they, they block they say oh you can't play it because you haven't got permission so uh so that's crap that idea so you might hear a bit of traffic a bit of shouting a bit of rustling around with the dog but obviously that's choice because i've brought the dog in with me and um so today um, i'm going to do a, a paper craft demonstration the best i can it's not overhead it's just like this hopefully the cameras the phones aren't going to topple over um, I'm going to show you some things I've made and show you a couple of things that I've tried to show you before that I've either forgot or went missing. So here we go. And I am, um, I have got hot chocolate. I've got, um, I bought, I did buy these, um, Bailey's hot chocolates um, from my machine that I have in here. And I was going to save them until Christmas, but we started on yesterday, so... Never mind. Oh, I heard heard him chewing. That was a goal. He supports supports Liverpool. Uh, so I'm guessing Liverpool have just scored. So, right. What I'm going to show you, uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know what I'm going to demonstrate. And I'll just grab it. And they're these these boxes. Now they don't. They're not the kind of thing you stand up. But they're perfect for hanging, so that's just one close-up. So I've got a few going on here. Obviously, they swing around. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate first. I'm going to do the demonstration first. So say if it goes wrong, I'm going to have to start this again. Um, well, if it goes wrong, I'll just have to do it again. But, <laughs> but if you want to watch it, you haven't got to watch me wittering on for however long before you see it again. So you can make these um, in different sizes, but I chose to do, um, do them with a piece of uh, card um, that's uh, eight by eight inches. I don't know what that is in centimetres. Um, I do sometimes work in centimetres and sometimes work in inches, but I can't always work out the conversion. Some I can roughly guess it. Um, but you do the same concept with whatever size you do. Um, I ha started off with a 12 by 12 inch card. Uh, paper. Well, you call it, it's card, it's fancy paper, thick paper really. Um, this is 12 by 12 inch pieces in here. And I cut mine down to eight inches and then I've got little bits left that I can use for other crafts. And, um, but you uh, you can also get six by six inch packs and more recently um some people are selling eight by eight inches so if you can oh, that's what i was looking for but unfortunately i did find some eight by eight inch packs but um they wasn't the kind of thing i wanted so i had to uh, and i didn't want to do ones as small as six by six so i bought the 12 by 12 and just cut it to um an eight by eight inch square and it's basically it's just origami i think from what i can remember i just um the side that i wanted on show but i just had that face in me but i don't think it really matters so you basically you fold it in half like that so excuse me while i do mine and try and match up your edges the best you can because otherwise it might not work and I use a bone folder to just burnish that. But you could just you could just rub it along with your finger. But I just use that because I'm used to using that. But then you can see I've got that fold now. Now you want to do the same thing going the opposite way. So you've got your fold there. Now you want to fold it that way.
usually when I used to do my paper craft tutorials I had an overhead camera so you used to see the top of my head when I was leaning <laughs> leaning over so uh, yeah, I'll give that a burnish so now it's it's been folded and you've got like a line going down the centre there and a line going down the centre there. Now you want to fold it in half again, but basically diagonal to diagonal. So I'm folding that corner to that corner and then that corner to that corner. So let's do that. I hope that you're, I'm going to just stand up a little bit. Not too much. I am, I am wearing um, pyjama bottoms. <laughs> You know, I am in the comfort of my own. I must admit, it looks like I haven't cut this wonderfully. Not as good as <laughs> those. So I'm hoping this this is going to work. So that's my first diagonal fold. And now I'm going to do one the opposite way. Mm. It's a little off, that's it, so I'll just try and lift it up a little. I don't think it's going to hurt too much. I dread to think what this video is going to be like when I watch it back, actually. I'll, I'll cringe at most of them, but there you go. They're the real. <laughs> right, so now we've got a lot of folds, haven't we? I don't know how well you can see them in the camera, but we've got them that way, that way, that way, and that way. Now, when I made my first one, I did go wrong. However, even though I went wrong, I still managed to rectify it, and it's still still okay. And um, and I've st I'm still going to use it. What, um, oh, what the idea of where I've got this idea from? I thought it's really nice to hang on your tree with treats. Um, like your Christmas tree but actually even if you've got a twiggy tree hang it on there it's even nice just to put things in for your own family or what I thought would be really nice uh, if you put um, fill a lot of these with nice little things and I'll give you ideas of things you can put in um, with my calendars I'll show you in a minute um, you could offer them to your guests say you get any guests come over at Christmas especially you know if, like if you haven't done them cards because I I, I find cards I love cards but trying to get cards that out to everybody at Christmas that I know and love it's a nightmare and there's so many years I write cards and they never get sent to them because um, I don't get them out in time and I can't find people's addresses or I haven't got time to drive around and so it's quite nice if anyone pops in you can say oh pick something off the tree and uh, I just think that's a really not nice idea so anyway back to this <laughs> so now we've got to do another fold now i'm hoping it's going to kind of look like a kite so basically i'm going to fold this corner and i'm going to try and get that line to butt up with that line can you see what i'm saying so it looks like we've got a funny triangle shape here and we're going to fold that to sit flush with that so I'll do it and then I'll show it you I promise these things on social media and then I think oh why have I done that I put myself under pressure now but I do I do like doing demos so right so then it looks like that so you're going to do this it's going to be unfolded but you're going to do the same the other side so it will kind of look like a kite won't it so i won't unfold that fully yet i will take this one over this one might not be as good as my others because i'm kind of rushing it and and when i'm folding things i kind of stand up and look over and check i'm i'm doing it right so now it looks like that like a kite now basically you're going to be doing this on every corner so I want to remember I've done this so either a centimetre down or half an inch either draw a little cross with a pencil or if you've got um, a hole punch because uh, you, you are going to need something to punch a hole so you could do anything you could 
jab a screwdriver through it on something soft, like on a sponge or something, on your pencil mark. But because I've got the um, the cutter, um, the hole punch, I'm going to use that straight away. But you could use you know, like um, a paper punch that's got two holes in it. You use for your A4 sheets to go in folders. You can always just use one corner of that. So I'll open that, and basically there's a there is a line. A center line going all the way down so that's where you either do your pencil mark a centimeter or half an inch a pencil line or a mark so I just kind of eyeball it with this it's not very center but it will be okay it should be okay I hope it's okay so I know now I've worked on that corner so then go around to the next corner and you want to do exactly the same fold that long edge up to the center line your new center line that is because obviously it's a new one each time so do that Finish that again with my very old bone folder which does the job and then so it's like that again and do exactly the same with its partner the opposite side okay so it looks like that again and then I'll open it and that's where we're going to do your pencil mark or your hole a bit more centre this time so now I know I've worked on those two so I'll move around to the next one and you're basically going to do the same again you've got your new centre line and you're folding those long edges into that centre line I do a bit of origami here and there over the years, you know, you know, just uh, as and when I feel like it. Usually is around Christmas. I do tend to find I do more paper craft at Christmas time. It seems to spur me on. So there we go. So we're going to do our hole again. Right. So we've done four and a three now one two three now that's the final one and we've got our new center line if you can see that obviously you probably just think it's a big mess at the moment do you kind of feel that way to start with mm. I, like, I would have pulled that over a bit more actually if I'd have uh, been looking more over the top ah, that's a little bit better okay the final marking I'm having a sip of my drink I've got marshmallows in as well mmm lovely right so now we've got all the folding and burnishing is done you're going to be folding again but what now this might be tricky i really hope you're going to see this now now look at all these lines now can you see here looks like there's a triangle can you see that and you've got that basically on every side so that line going to there and it comes back down to there. Basically, every side has got that. Now, you're going to be doing some cutting, but do not cut exactly on that line. You're going to be cutting in from that, either, say, half an inch, if you're an inches person, or a centimetre away from that line. So I'll just do that now on one of them. And hopefully you get what I mean. So 
So the piece I've cut out looks like that. And I'll show you that on there. So if you can see, that line is still there. But I've got like a little tab and you do need to leave that tab basically. Now you do this on all four sides. So we turn it round and look for the, see, can you see that triangle there, look? So do that again, either half an inch away from it or a centimetre, cut like that. I don't measure or anything. I just kind of just eyeball that out so I'm going to do that again I'm just going to keep reminding you it's that triangle there look that triangle and it's either a centimetre or half an inch away exactly the same shape you just sort of like mirroring that running parallel okay and now one more see that triangle Right, now this is what we have, this shape. Now we're going to fold it in together. I'm just thinking, and which one am I going to have on show here? I think it depends on whatever way I go, which one do I want out? I think I'm going to have that, the snowflakes out actually. So, now this I found, the first, I haven't done these now for about... For a while so i've just got to try and remember how it goes i just kind of fold the sides up to start with and then it kind of goes into the shape before the first time i did it i was going to manipulate it and i think i was ma manipulating it wrong so just grab them roughly and you should get this kind of shape at the bottom that's why they're no good for standing because i've got a point so when you know you've got that shape you need to, those tabs, you need to fold them in on all, all of your shapes. You don't want those sticking out. There we go. So it should all come together. It's really clever, isn't it? It looks such a mess. And then all of a sudden, you've got this amazing, amazing shape. Well, I think it is. And then it opens up and you can put... A treat inside now the first one I made the one where I did the wrong I don't know if it did this because I'd done the wrong fold on that kite kind of shape bit it um that was kind of sticking in and there was like no I was thinking well there's no room to put anything in this but um but, and I knew it was meant to have a shape but there we go anyway now ribbon or twine like um I've used some really fuzzy looking stuff on this one I'll get it off some like fuzz, fuzzy kind of twine or ribbon like glittery stuff on it look and then one of the others I think I've just used this red ribbon and that's what I'm going to use now now what you do is pretend this is your outside you go from the outside in I must admit this uh, this isn't going to go well is it because I'm film so outside in and then you go to your next one along and you go from the inside to the outside and then we're on the outside aren't we now because we've gone inside that. now we've got to go outside to inside There we go. Now we're on the inside. We've got to go from inside to outside. So basically you'll end up with two ends next to each other that are outside that you can tie together. Like that. And you just pull them in. Now I'm not going to do it really tight at the moment because... I want to put something for hanging. Oh, it's all, I haven't put the end of it off. So basically, I've used, you can use whatever you like, use the same ribbon if you want to, but I wanted all these to match, just 
I'll cut a little bit of twine off. And then I'm just going to tie it. I'm not going to do anything fancy. Basically, tie it so you've got your two ends here. On your opposite side, that's where I put tie it. So, I just kind of half it, tie a knot, and then I hold them both up and I just do a knot. You can do a bow or whatever, I just do a knot for hanging. And I tend to just trim, trim it so the two ends are the same. Now, I'm ready to pull this together. Because what it is, if you pull that together first, it can be a bit tricky to get that on the back. So that's why I do that. Now, I'm just going to cut this ribbon now. And I'm going to pop that aside. Now, if you wonder why Rafe is normally normally trying to get up onto me, but um, I'll give him this, like, raw hide um, kind of thing. Um... They were like nat these natural things, so uh, he's quite entertained, actually. He's, he's in his little chair, and it's keeping up. But actually, I, did, I didn't know whether to bring him in, because I, I don't know if, if you've been watching me on social media, I made him a bed, and he was just cuddled up in it, and I thought, oh, I really want to show you the bed, and um denied, um denied, I thought, no, I'll bring him in, and, and actually, now I can see how content and happy he is, I don't regret disturbing him, I know they say, let sleeping dogs lie, he wasn't actually asleep, but, you know, he was resting, so there we go, so we've got something for hanging, we've got a ribbon that's looking rather wonky, oh, you could do a better job than that, you know, never mind, right. And then uh, for my others, you'll see they've got Merry Christmas on them. I bought those. They just um, and they had a foam sticky thing on the back, but I didn't have any more. So before the video, um, I just made my own Merry Christmas. I did that by taking a piece of card. I used a Merry Christmas stamp. I used embossing ink. Um, put embossing powder over the top of it shook that off put it back, obviously back in the pot got my heat tool and heated it up and you get i don't know if you can see that on film but it's it melts it oh you can see it now see that shimmer um it melts it and it's lovely so uh usually i would with this i'd poke uh, poke a hole and i'd let that dangle on there that would be lovely but I'm going to do what I did on those just to show you. So I've put foam dots on the back, just a couple, and I put that on the front of there, like that. And there you go. It's actually wor worked out better than I thought, considering uh, I've gone live. So he, there's another one for my Twiggy tree. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make loads. Um just in case you never know and right so I'm going to talk about the kind of things you can put in there and obviously it's up to you what you put in yours because you know they might be more personal to your family and the kind of things they like say if you've got um a carpenter in your family you could say you know he's building up his tools put like little fat screwdrivers and things like in, cal in the calendars and things I suppose I suppose you wouldn't want to put that on your Christmas tree. They might be expecting something edible, might and they? And then they get some screw, some screwdriver. <laughs> I suppose, and, and not that I'm condoning smoke, um, publicising smoking. But I suppose, oh, like I, none of my family smokes. And um, I've never smoked. But I suppose you put lighters and things in, you know, just suppose. And another thing I thought you could put in is, do you know, if you've got like a coffee machine, like... Um, and especially with like the Nespresso um, machines, they're quite small pods. You could put different flavour coffee pods um, in your calendars and li little things, couldn't even crackers and whatever. I'm going to have another sip of this before it goes cold. But for me, if somebody was doing a calendar for me, I'd like kind of little um, craft pieces, wouldn't I? So, for example, like if I found a little snowflake punch 
so I could like make little, you know, pop out little snowflakes. That would be like, quite nice for me, wouldn't it? Little things like that. And and I know calendars are a really big thing now uh, for adults. Um, you know, it used to be thing. You know, when I was a little girl, you used to get a card one, and you just open the card doors. And do you know what? That was delightful. You didn't get any treat in it at all, but that was exciting. Oh, thinking, what's behind this door? What picture? And then uh, it was more like when I had children of my own, then it was like the ones that you get, like the Cadbury's and things, and you open all the doors. But um, but it's kind of evolved for us now. So I've made like sewing ones. And uh, here's one I've made um, a previous year, um, a sewing one. Now you can get like MDF draw ones. If you don't sew, you can get ones from like Hobbycraft and... Um, you, you can just paint it or cover it in paper and you've got the drawers and it is cheaper I th they're not going to be as cheap as buying like a Cadbury's one but you know some of these ones where you get hot chocolates in and things they're so expensive now I worked out say if I got um, hot chocolate sachets two for a pound and you've got 24 doors it, say you wanted to do a hot chocolate it's only going to cost you then £12 once you've bought your calendar it's only going to cost you 12 pound to fill the whole thing with um hot chocolates and that's what i've done with some of them i've put different i've put hot chocolates in some of them and i've put like um maltese chocolate bars in some and um and i've done these little like little uh, milky one way ones and the little eyes are poking out the top and um like little um deers and santas um, chocolate coins and there's some actually quite substantial chocolate coins in here that are quite large ones and um and some of the, the and some little gold um chocolates and some of them bit of a joke really sprouts they're chocolates but they're sprouts so um i, I feel that so uh, you only really should have 24 doors on a calendar in my opinion because i haven't but um but actually this one's got 25 so I haven't put something in the 25th door because I hadn't allowed for it but um the calendar that I've this is I've made two of these but the calendar I made this year if I just grab it oh gosh that's gonna fall right put it there right the one I made this year that you might have seen on Instagram fairly recently on Facebook um, I thought, oh no, this hasn't got 25 doors, this has got 24, but actually the one in the middle just says Merry Christmas and there's no number, so so that means three of the calendars actually have got 25 um, drawers on here, so um, yeah, I will be um, getting some more, but the one uh, I've done for my husband, um, that that's like little tiny stockings all on a garland and that has only got 24 but I don't think my husband's gonna be be upset if um if the the boys have got an extra one and he hasn't you know he's he's a grown up he'll, he'll, if he's upset he'll have to get over it won't he right I'll uh, I'll put that over here now I'm thinking about what um what else have I been doing oh right uh. I don't know if any of you, I know some of apologise if you're vegetarian and things or you're anti-KFC or whatever, but my husband does like a box meal from KFC after the gym sometimes on a Friday and, um, and, and he's been getting, he's had a couple of these, this is his second one, these boxes with really, I think the artwork on it is really cool. I'll put that a bit closer for you. I think it's really cool. There's like a bike on there, and that's on there. And I, I just thought it is criminal just to throw that in recycling or just, you know, throw it away. So this is what I've done with some of the artwork. I've cut it out. And I've made a Christmas card for my husband, so he he does really like it, and uh, I'm, I'm I actually really I've like made them stand up. I'm really pleased with that how that's turned out. So now I might make some for my kids or anyone who I think's into KFC. So that's another idea. So if you find anything has got 
some cool artwork and you don't want to throw it away, cut it out and craft with it. Um, another thing is one time I wanted to show you a button bracelet that I made and I showed you the book it came from and I, I knew I had it ready to show you and then when it ca I came to show you, because I was wearing it, it, it had gone. So um, I decided to, uh, well I showed you the book anyway. Oh, I'm filming. <laughs> Bye. Sorry, <laughs> that's my husband. So anyway, uh, then, um, but it is, it's half time and he's coming. I, told, I did warn him I'm filming. I should have put my sign up filming in progress. Anyway, I wanted to show you this bracelet and when I went to show you, it was gone off my wrist. So uh, one of the things had come a bit loose, shoddy workmanship, obviously. But, uh, but yeah, so, here it is, there's my button bracelet that I made and um, and I do absolutely love it but this what it told you to use in the book isn't isn't what I use but I think it's I don't know if it's called something different here but there's a lady that I know Leslie a friend of mine and she she's she got me into uh, I was into a bit of jewelry more macrame and that kind of thing but she got me more into like the wire work and and got me started on it and uh, I'm just trying to find it actually I should I think when I had it I showed you this last time I had it already you use it says you use memory wire now that is memory wire but when I looked up the brand of uh, memory wire it was different, so uh, it looks more fabricy on the picture. I, I don't know if you know, but that that make is from Button Jewelry, and it's one of those twenty to make books. I showed you this in my video before, but now I have the actual bracelet. If if you follow me on Instagram, and Facebook, and things, you've probably seen it. And it, I only remembered this because. Um, I was tidying up looking for something. I think I was looking for the tripod because I still haven't found it. And that's what I found. So that's brilliant. So I found it and I'm showing it you. Um, another thing I, I've said to you in a previous video, because I've had to watch my videos back, that I was going to make an owl and the sewing cat backpack. And I did. I did, I did do it, but I didn't show you. So I'm going to just put these here. And this is it. This is my backpack. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, you might have seen me out on a bike ride going down the towpath wearing this on my back. My husband took a photograph of me next to the locks and I had my backpack on, but that is great. If I fit my, I made it so I can like, uh, go out when I go on my bike when I want to take a raincoat. Um, it's good if I want to take any crafts. I've, I've actually took a quilt I made to show and tell uh, in it, so it, it's quite big. Now, I cannot believe the last time I, uh, I've got some stray hair coming round here, haven't I? Last time I did a video, I couldn't wait to show you something and I didn't show it you and I cannot believe I did it right and here it is I, ca I can't I'm shocked I didn't show you I couldn't believe it after so here is my red work quilt so do you remember all these blocks I was posting on Instagram and Facebook um, I was doing them one by one. Well, this is it all together. So I've I've done like patchwork pieces as well. It's um a Mandy Shaw design. Like you can't just get, buy this design. I was in her secret society. So um you know it was a thing private to the society. I'm not in it this year. I'm in a lampshade club, but I'm not in the society. Oh, did I show you my lamp? I mean. I did, I did do my lamp. If not, what I'll do is I'll watch my last video to see if I showed you my lampshade. And if I didn't, I'll show you that next time. But yeah, so this is it. I'm really, really pleased with it. It's just, I think I will add a bit of echo stitching in places. Um, 
so yeah I'm really I just love it I'm just I'm 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 an Andy Shaw fan crazy Andy Shaw fan so that, that's that uh, and then things something I've made I'm just looking scanning around uh, something I've made this week is this oh and I'm, I'm in love I really am you know how much I love my toys I made Santa can you see I mean can you see his face and his beard I've hand stitched every stitch on that beard and I've, and I've pieced all this coat look that's the back that's all patchwork and and it's wadded and I've done all this at the bottom he's got skinny look look at he's cute underneath look, look at his big pants and I think he's quite tanned for Santa I think Santa's been on holiday and he is a tilde design in tilde fabrics and do you know what? I love him. And uh, he's been sitting in my hallway on a quilt I've made. And he just, he looks lovely. He looks absolutely lovely. And I wanted to make him last year, but I didn't get the time. But I want, I would like to make another Santa, whether that's this year now or not, I don't know. And, um, and he's a Santa in pyjamas, but he's a little bit different. He's got fuzzy bits on the side of his head. Now, another thing I've, I've made, but I've not quite finished it. I've made Mandy Shaw's um, Chris Joy Christmas Angel. Now, you can have her as a doll, if you want her as a doll. And, and she has a bolero, which I haven't made yet. Uh, or you can have her with wings, which I haven't made yet. But I only finished her last night. That Well, finished what I've done so far. And I haven't got round to making the other bits. But I just thought I need to get this video out because I wanted to talk about calendars. And obviously we were about to hit Advent, aren't we? So here is Joy. Joy, my Christmas angel. There's a little thief. And those are a tights. Like you might recognise the fabric from see the, my backing on my quilt. That's what I've used on her tights because I didn't have a kit for Joy. I've just built up all the different things for her. There's all her uh, notifications coming up on my f on my phone. F I'm, it's linked to my son's Xbox, so I'm getting all these notifications about gaming and stuff. And uh, yeah, and there she is. I just look at her hair, and basically that is. I'm gonna show you twine, garden twine. Here's some bits. Here's some bits I cut off. Actually, look. And basically, how I'd made a hair is I um. I thought this is not my idea, but this is what I did. Um, I wrapped um twine round knitting needles and and um kebab skewers. I just soaked them in some hot water. Put a bit of a little bit of starch in it. I don't know how much the starch. What that did for it really. And um. Uh, got them out, um, left them on my radiator, and then um, took them off the radiator. Left them so I knew there was. I left them for a few days. They're so really, really dry. And then I took them off last night, and uh, and then I pe pieced a few bits together and made Joy's hair. So uh, I've embroidered her face, and um, I've sewn all the hair on, and 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 I, I just think she's beautiful. And you, I'm just. I'm such a big kid. I just love dolls and soft toys, and I love making them. I love watching them come to life. I've, I suppose it's one of the things I love making the most. I think is toys, but um, yeah. So she's going to be getting some wings, and and actually, she might think she looks rather tanned as well. But Santa came. Um, his spits and bobs came in a box as a kit, and I had enough skin left to do her. And um and she um so she's got a suntan too, but I didn't have enough for her legs, so she got tights. So but I think they look rather nice actually. So yeah, I'm really pleased with her. I'm just having a quick scan around, see if I've, I've forgot anything. I think the only th oh yeah, two more, three more things. One thing I forgot to mention is you know with the boxes that I showed you the demo of. Um, another nice thing you can do is put um, Christmas confetti in them so when people open them and the Christmas cards and they open them okay it's a bit of mess but you know it's Christmas isn't it you're gonna get mess and um, oh the twine I used was this natural 
fine. I'd have got that either from Nutcutts Garden Centre or Malbec's because I go to two. I'm not sure which one, but there you go. And another thing I've made, and now I'm really pleased with this, I really love recycling and, and not wasting things. And um and I've made this tub, you might have seen this on Instagram. And basically, when you have fabric, um, you have like a salvage edge. I'm just seeing if any of these have I've still got yeah. You get um a salvage on it. And one and some of them are just plain white and a bit boring. But the other side sometimes has like the designer and what the fabric's called and, and the colours that are included. So for example, the fat one had all those colours. So if you wanted to get some matching fabric, you can look along your band and match your fabric. So I've basically been cutting them off, the fabrics, and been saving them. And then this project came along and I thought, oh, this is perfect. So inside, the, it probably just looks like big bits of fabric, but that actually was, do you know the um, the calendars I've made? Sometimes they've got instruction panels and um, I've cut those panels off and kept those. So basically it's fabric that would have just got thrown away. And that bit of binding is binding I've made from another project and I had the tiniest piece left and I've kept it. But it was just absolutely perfect for this. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with a bit of... And that's um, a fabric from another project that I've done in the past. And I've used the same for the base. And in here, I've just got um, Wonder Clips. If you're a sewer or quilter, you'll know what those are. And that... Oh, that... Um, you can make three size tubs. And the designer is Rosie... Rosie Taylor and they're the tub family so that that's those uh, I've made these kind of tubs before uh, without patterns but sometimes I like to buy someone else's pattern because I like to see how different people do different things and then I can take what I know of different people and think what's best um, and the next thing I'm going to show you is a crafty purchase and um and it's these, you know what I've taught, I showed you my pattern weights before that I bought and they were really cheap, really practical. Not nothing too fancy but those. But I do need more. Um but and I got these and they wasn't too expensive. They come in a case. This is one of them. I've got two different sizes. I haven't opened them yet actually. So you're opening these with me. And uh, there we go, there, there's one with a dress form and they've got sewing quarter, which is a sewing channel on the back. And uh, I, I wonder if I can show you, the one's got love to sew, a sewing machine and fabric is my life. I thought they're really nice. Those are the larger ones. I'm not sure. And they've got really nice, um, it says pattern weights um, embossed in the tin on the back. I just thought they just love a re self gifting kind of item. And then I've still got the band on this one. I haven't took the band up, but that's how it comes. And then um, just pop, pop this back, belly band off. And that's the same embossed on the back the little window and they're basically the same but they're smaller ones so the only different design on here that you haven't got on there you've got one that's got um all little notions like scissors and thimbles and threads can you see that on there and um on this one it's an old um vintage iron that i'm guessing you would have heated up and then placed on your clothes back before electric was a thing. So that's, I want to have a look at the back of these actually. I didn't, let's see if I'm getting them out. Right, yeah, and they've got sewing quarts on the back now. There's, um, there's been a lot of rumour going around uh, about the sewing quarter closing down. And actually, I know it sounds really sad, but I actually cried. I'd have cried about it. My husband laughed at me, but he said, oh, I understand. It's like if, uh, you know, Liverpool just give up for him. So he, he got he got, he got it. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really sad if this happens. Well, I think what it is, the company that owned them is Immediate Media, and they do, like, magazines and things, and they own a, a jewellery channel. But they've decided to step away from TV shopping, and the jewellery channel has been bought 
but at the moment I don't think the sewing one has so at the moment we don't really know what's going to happen like I know like with designers like some of the designers that are on there I followed way before sewing court was even around um, so I know they can go elsewhere but you know it's just such a lovely community and um, and, and it's the staff you know the, the staff on there uh, you really grow to love them and and you know I've met a, a number of them and uh, yeah and it's just uh, it's, it's heartbreaking so I really hope all the sewing quarter jobs can be saved sewing quarter can be saved and uh, and we'll all be happy won't we Rave? can you I bet you can't see him because of these pattern weights you see his little head look I'm going to pick him up. I was going to put him in his coat. Because what it is, you've seen... Oh, that reminds me. You've seen Holly in a coat that I made. That dog coat that I banged on about forever and ever. Right, but you haven't seen Rafe in his. And I've looked and I, his coat isn't in here. But Holly isn't in here. But what I can show you, and you know, I can show you in it if I want to, is the bed. This is the bed I've made. Oh. Right, it's probably looking a bit scraggy already. This is it. So I'm chuffed a bit. It's got a zip on it, so I can. I made the filling in it actually, so like loads of layers and a, a wadding, thick wadding, and, and a strip of wadding round. I might, I've got a zip so I can get it out, give it a good old wash. But the, the plan was for him to climb in it, see if it, it, it does stick up, but he tends to just sleep on this little bit here and he kind of like tucks his back end in or tucks a little bit and he doesn't get right in it but do you know what he's on it all he's actually when I had to disturb him he was on it then and I and it was heartbreaking having to move him but like I say he's had a lovely time I'm gonna get where it where is it do you know that thing it's probably is that what what time? Where's it gone? It's fell out. It's still, I was going to show you what's kept him really quiet, and uh, it must have fell out. So I'm um, I'm going to go offline now, and I'm going to have a look for his thing and go and settle him down again, and um, maybe next time I will put his coat on, and uh, and I'm going to have to bring Holly back in, and you've got to meet the cats and things. So uh, yeah, I'll try and keep. Keep bringing some pets for you to see, because I know, because what it is, I've got friends, uh, kids that uh, love watching my videos, more for the pets really. They're not really interested in what I'm doing, I don't think. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so he he's the pet pet of the day. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, and I and I hope you give those um, tree things a bash, and I hope I haven't witted on too long and bored bored you and I'm I might have to microwave the rest of that hot chocolate because I'm not I'm not letting that go to waste but uh thanks for watching and I'll um I'll speak to you soon bye <laughs>